Hello everyone, welcome to Pavli Connect. So in this video, we will learn how to integrate ClickUp and Slack. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new task is added in ClickUp, it will automatically send a message via Slack. Now ClickUp is an awesome project management tool and Slack is a messaging platform. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from ClickUp to Slack. But there is one minor problem. There is actually no integration between ClickUp and Slack. So in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Pabri Connect to integrate ClickUp and Slack. And the best part of using Pabri Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com. Press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect. Then click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Ok so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Here click on access now. Ok so at the top right corner you will find a button, create workflow, click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as ClickUp. ClickUp to Slack. ClickUp to Slack. Then click on Create. Excellent. When you click on Create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the Trigger window. So in the Choose app, let's make it as ClickUp because we want to send the data from ClickUp. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as a new task instant. Okay, so the trigger event is now new task. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically an if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new task instant is created, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are more triggers like new folder, new task, new list, task updated and so on. However, in case if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new task is created in ClickUp. Okay, so basically the gist of the process is we are just trying to integrate ClickUp to Pabli Connect. So just click on connect with ClickUp. Okay, so in the new credentials, we have a blank to fill. This is called as the API token. So to get the API token, let's have a visit to ClickUp. So this is my ClickUp account. Here at the left bottom, you will find your profile. Click this and click on apps. Okay, so this is your API token. I'm simply copying this and just pasting it here. Okay, so I have pasted my API token. So just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, you will find the option called as team. At present, it is showing it as Ashi's workspace. This is because my workspace is called as Ashi. Okay, so let me go back and show you. This is the workspace I have and it is uh, Ashi's workspace. Okay, that is why it is showing it as Ashi's workspace. Okay, excellent. Okay, so basically it is saying that we are connecting Ashi's workspace to Pabli Connect. So just click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing the data uh, that we have integrated uh, this particular workspace that is Ashi's workspace to Pabli Connect. So since Pabli Connect is now integrated with uh, ClickUp, so how about we capture the data from Ashi's workspace, I mean ClickUp. So to do that, just click on this button, Capture Webhook Response. Okay, so it is waiting for the data. So basically it means whenever a new task is created in ClickUp, the data will be captured by Pabli Connect. So let's go and show and let's make create a new task in ClickUp. So I'm just going to create a task. So the name of the task is uh, Uranium Exploration. Uranium Exploration, okay. And the description is Beware. Uranium is dangerous. 
Okay, you're in exploration, beware uranium is dangerous. Just click on create task. Okay, so a task called as a uranium has uranium exploration has been created. So let's have a look in Public Connect whether it has captured this data or not. So yes. So apparently it has uh, captured some data. So let's explore. Okay, so scrolling down and uh, to our dismay, we are not finding the task. Okay, we are not finding the task called as uh, uranium exploration. So basically we have to retrieve uh, this uh, particular task the data related to this particular task from a particular id let me show you okay so basically all our data is present in this id so basically we have to expand this uh, data fields present in this id so to do that just click on this plus button so when you click on this plus button another window opens up since we are interested in uh, getting the task out of the id so in the choose app let's again make it as uh, click up Okay, so now in the action event, just scroll down and just click on find task by task ID. Okay, so this is the action event. Then just click on connect with ClickUp. Okay, so you already know the API token. I'm just uh, pasting it here and just click on save. Okay, so as you can see, we have a blank called as a field called as tax ID. So we have to fill in this uh, tax ID. So your obvious question is where I'm going to get the task ID. So to get to map in the detail, just click on this button and uh, type task. Okay, so this is the type task ID you want. Enter this and just click on save and send this request. Okay, so the API response is showing now the data. The name is uranium, uranium exploration and the description is beware uranium is dangerous. Okay, so now we have to sync in this data to Slack to send a message. So to do that, just click on this plus button. Okay, when you click on this plus button, another action window opens up. So in the choose app, let's make it as Slack because we want to send the data from Slack. Okay, so now in the action event, how about we send a message without an image? So send channel message without an image, then click on connect with Slack in the new credentials. Just again, click on connect with Slack. Okay. So Pabli connect is now requesting permission to access the Pabli Slack workspace. So before we click on allow, let me tell you something. Pabli connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is hundred percent safe and secure with us. So on the basis of that trust, just click on allow. Okay. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. OK, so as you can see, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of this blank is very simple. We are going to create a message and then we are going to send the message via Slack. So in the channel, it is showing it as general. So how about we expand this? So when we expand this, we are seeing a set of uh, characters like product, Shopify, new order, etc. Uh, Shopify product, Shopify and uh, sunset, pay kickstart and all of all those things. This is because we have uh, several channels here. So how about uh, I create a new channel? Okay, so the name of the channel is uh, click up new task. New task. Okay, so the description is uh, just random. Okay. So I'm just going to click on create and uh, there are already three members inside it. So I'm just clicking on done. Okay. So a task called as a channel called as a click up new task has been created. So let's go to public connect and let me refresh this. Okay. So let me scroll down and I will find the channel. Yes. Click up new task. Okay, so I'm going to send the data, the message from this channel. Click up new task. So in the message type, let's keep it as plain text. And in the message, we can write something like a new task. New task. And then we are going to map in the detail. Okay, uranium exploration has been created. And so what was the description? Yes. A new task named uranium exploration has been created and the beware uranium is dangerous. Okay. So the bot name we can actually write as a Pabli because we are going to send the data or if you want, you can write your own name. So in case of bot icon, we are not going to enter the image URL. We don't really need it. Just click on save and send test request. Okay. So the API response is showing that the data has been given. The message has been sent. So let's have a look in our Slack channel. Yes. So it is showing our new task uranium exploration has been created and beware uranium is dangerous. Okay, so how about we um, 
double check if our integration is uh, working fine or not by making a new task in ClickUp. But before that, let me show you the whole gist of the process. So let me go to public connect and let me minimize my action window and let me minimize my action window again and let me minimize my trigger window. Okay, so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated ClickUp to public connect and then you found out the task by the help of the task ID in ClickUp and then you have sent the data to Slack. Okay, so now there is a perfect flow of data between ClickUp and Slack. Okay, so how about we make one more task? Okay, so uh, this time it's uh, Bitcoin mining. And we can write the description as uh, Bitcoin is over. It was uh, 26,000, right? $26,000. Okay, so Bitcoin is over uh, $26,000. Just click on create task. Okay, so a task called as uh, Bitcoin exploration has been mining has been created. So let's have a look. Yes, we have got the message. A new task Bitcoin mining has been created and Bitcoin is over $26,000. Excellent. So our integration is working absolutely fine. This means anytime a new task is made in ClickUp, it will be reflected as a message in Slack. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.